in a more feasible way. Hey, Moose. Ah, can you uh, hear me? Don't really have... Uh, my setup is kind of bare bones at the moment, so... Can't really uh, have a preview of my audio or anything. Awesome. Alright. And, alright, nice. Yeah, my setup leads something to be desired, but, oh well. Make sure my phone doesn't slide around. Check the options real quick. Uh, jet boost mode, manual, translator, pip. Unpress. Yeah. Seems uh, good. Ah, oh, nice. I hope you have a lovely breakfast. Freeze time while reading. Enabled conversations. Not be frozen. Hmm. I mean, I French toast, huh? I have had that in forever. Oh, hello, Kate. <laughs> nice to see you. Log er, watching the stream. I'm just kind of waiting for. has been dealt so good in here, but yeah, I, time stop, uh, I kind of want all the time I want, but at the same time, just having the animations go, still nice, um, yeah, maybe make the first video game look worse, probably don't want that. Oh, hey, Burp. <laughs> nice to see you in here. Ah. Uh. <laughs> mm. This is nice. I'm just, yeah. Go poke. <laughs> Not, I, I'm almost tempted to go send, uh, Jasmine a message to poke her along. But, yeah, I guess, you know, while I'm waiting here, um, one neat thing that I found out recently is that you, like, you know, alright, thanks, Muse, um, that, you know, you see this little planet spinning around, well, everything in this game is moving. Like, it is a 
a solar system in miniature, basically. That like every planet, like all the objects on the each planet are moving. Like, you know, just everything's always relative, you know, is in relative motion to each other by gravity. And they did some neat tricks to make it work with how big the planets are here. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh, you know, they did some work, some neat tricks to make sure, you know, that the planets wouldn't, like, collide with each other, so that, you know, it, the solar system wouldn't have to be, like, to scale to, you know, ours, so that it wouldn't be too much empty space in between. But, yeah, it's really amazing to think about how there's literally no stationary objects in this game. Everything's physics is accounted for, basically. For like how things are moving relative to each other. So that's just, you know, completely bonkers. And yeah. <sighs> that's really amazing, honestly. And you know, just kinda of the, the dedication the the team put into making this, you know, a very, you know, exploration heavy game, but also very focused about like space and space travel and astrophysics and like you know they did a lot of neat tricks for the planet so that they wouldn't just uh just annihilate the solar system uh, you know what keep watching and you know who knows maybe something happened <laughs> all right um who knows but yeah uh Oh yeah, especially if this is your first time watching, it's gonna be a trip. <laughs> but um, what was I gonna say? Oh yes, everything but the sun does is more realistic gravity. Like if you go to the very edge of the uh, solar system and just don't touch your controller, you will start being dragged towards the sun. It's just the sun is the center of the solar system. And. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna start it up here. Yeah, you know what? Let's get things. Yeah, you know what? I've been going on for about eight minutes now, so. Um. Uh, Muse, if you're still there, uh, I guess what's the uh, S uh, ETA of uh, Jasmine getting on here? Is I am itching to go, but at the same time, I, yeah, she was the one who, like, suggested this game to me, and was like, hey, you should play it, and I'm like, yo, this is great. <laughs> and yeah, gravity is weird. Like, you know, it's so fundamental to how our, so, you know, how the universe kind of works, but it's a pretty weak force in, you know, comparative to other forces, but there's just so many massive things that it works out. Okay, nice. Then let's go and um, God, yeah, if, you, if this is the first time watching this game, um, yeah, no, this uh, this is great, you know, game based on exploration and, you know, finding, you know, answers to mysteries and, you know, just talking to these cute Alien buddies. Gravity is just electromagnetism. I mean, I don't think that's tr I don't think that's true. I like I think there's a very specific um uh, you know, there's there's a very specific reason why gravity kind of throws a, a monkey wrench into the whole there's no such thing as you know, or it's the whole unified, you know, grand unified theory of, uh, stuff. Of stuff, of, you know, the universe, that it just... Huh, I can doze off. That's funny. First, most important thing, gotta, gotta inch, gotta in... Gotta, ah! <laughs> and yeah, electromagnetics uh, magnets are cool. 
And, um... Now, if the first time watching, you know, you, uh, right now I'm just gonna poke around some things. Yeah, you know, just... No, I, I also, if this is your first time watching this game, I want you to know... Yeah, you know how, like, video games, like, oh, you see those mountains in the distance? You can actually go there, but, like, no, like, you can actually... Like, every celestial body you can see, you can pilot your ship to. And what a ship she is. Held up with, uh, wood, some rubber bands, nails, screws, the works. But first, there's, uh, something I'm curious about from last time I played, and I need this. I mean, I, I still feel like there's a lot of people that would dis- Okay, I didn't die. <laughs> hmm. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Because last time I played, or one time I played, I went in here and noticed that there's stuff here. This used to be a... a race. Hello? <laughs> Density, except truthful. I mean, you're not... Uh, there's an unknown. No, no. Well, I mean, I know what that is. Okay, I can't... Okay, I can't boost your rocket... ...down there. Hmm, I was hoping for more... ...info. Yeah, I got a little note, but... What about this one? I wonder what fresh hell awaits me. <laughs> God, I hope that'd be funny if I got ejected out the planet. Where am I? Hmm. Okay. To be honest, I'm a little bit afraid because I don't know what's in here. And to be honest, oh, there's Esker. So the moons. N nearby. My ship is 250 meters. Hmm, I gotta check it out here. Woo! <laughs> uh, where am I? Oh, hello. Ah, uh, that's a fun friend. But where are... Okay. This. Ah, okay, this is the map of the solar system. And, uh, you know, today, definitely, I want to get over here to this fresh hell. But that will have to wait, because I... Also, this, uh... Interloper, whatever that is, Hourglass Twins. Alright, I am... Where on... Where in the fresh hell am I? <laughs> I honestly don't know. Hmm. But as you can see on my mini-map, I did kind of a weird circle around the planet, because, you know, it's not too big. And also, you may have noticed that the rock that was here is now gone. Because it has a weird qu quality to it that... Uh, it's kind of like a funner version of quantum mechanics, of that if it's observed by a conscious creature, uh, 
you know, it kind of wants to stay in a, you know, the... It basically, it can move around depending if it's being observed. And uh, in my space suit, I have a scout launcher, which can, you know, take pictures and stuff, and also just uh, keep an eye on things. That said, I don't know what to do with that, though. Oh, I'm in the grove. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. No idea what I'm doing in here, though. Oh! In the ancient glade, it's always dark. Across old bark, the quiet shade. Um... Um... What? Am I hearing the interloper? Yeah, that's 20... 20 k meters away from me. And, uh... The only thing I can imagine would be either... Oh, there's some weird debris over there. This... Hell. Across the old park, the ancient shade. I... What? Uh... Ah! Grove shard. Quantum fluctuations. Ah! <laughs> that was... Frequency... And there's another one. Five thousand meters. Uh, probably at Giant's Keep, I think. Did the Quantum Stone disappear again? Damn it. Okay, I don't know what you want. Weird special across old bark and the ancient glade, the quiet shade, it's all this dark. Uh, quantum grove. Oh, the quantum grove. Of course. How foolish of me. No clue what I'm supposed to. What? Obviously, this is the puzzle. Like hell, I know what it's for. Yay! Boosters. Um, I could have sworn I saw something. Or was it just the same sign, but I got lost. Sup, Brock? Alright, let's... Where am I? There is the sun. Hmm. I hate that sound. I, with the... F no. <laughs> the sun? Don't... No. Don't do that to me. <laughs> don't... Don't betray me. <laughs> oh, what's this? Chert's research notes. Property of Chert. <laughs> I've detected a strange signal coming... Uh, okay, that was a geyser. <laughs> From somewhere within the grove in this crater. It's very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon. What? There's a... There's a quantum moon. So it stands the reason the two signals are probably related. There's a fucking quantum moon. 
Wait, no, I think I've seen it. Fuck. Anyway, so it stands a reason the two signals are probably related. We don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing as no one's ever been able to land on it, but hopefully s studying the signal in this grove will, re will reveal more about it. Ship log updated. Thanks. Um... Oh, hey. You know, it, 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 huh. You know, I told you about how the physics everything is uh, calculated. It's actually calculated in real time, frame by frame, by the way. So it's interesting that, you know, how the effects of different shapes in uh, not say, the celestial bodies in gravity will actually influence each other. But, uh, I don't like the look of that. And yeah, I, I remember your cheeky little hint now. About which moon I wanted to land on, but which moon? You know, what moon? Also, you know, let's... The moon... Hmm. Okay. Okay, almost crashed into the, uh... But now, this moon... Alterok does stay there. But, uh... I... But, you know what? I'm gonna regret this. Okay, or not. Okay, I was expecting spooky signals. Quantum fluctuations. Mmm, I hate that. I just hate that sound. I'm gonna put that away for now. <laughs> no, it. Um, where's my ship? I'm. Ter well, technically, I'm going in the right direction. Just need a. Um, did I find Stonehenge? Later. I hope you have a good one. And I am terrible at finding my ship, but huh. This looks like a an E or something. Or something. Hmm. Don't quite know what this means. Oh, it's a nifty little doohickey. I can't pick it up. Looks cool though. Also, the sun looks. Ah, okay. I forgot who it is with the drums. And I've never seen the 2001 Space Odyssey, to be honest. But I, I'd believe it. Also, what is... Nothing that the Harthians make look like this. And also, something strange. I don't know. I'm just worried about the, uh, the path of the interloper. But yeah. You know, like, the, the ship I came in here on, or the ship that I have, is made of wood and, you know, kind of <laughs> salvaged together. But this looks nothing like the level of, you know, craftsmanship that uh, I'm accustomed to. And where... ship you are here, Timber Hearth. I have no clue where I am. And I'm about to run out of, uh...
Okay, so the drums... Hell sound. No thank you. Uh, can I make it over there? Hell yeah! Hmm. I wonder. Yep, that's what I thought. Uh, there's something in this game. It's a neat little thing. It's called Ghost Matter. And it, uh, my little scout can tell me about it. The, the terrible thing about Ghost Matter, uh, it's, uh, it's incredibly uh, hazardous to be around or touch or anything. Thankfully, my little robot, uh, I hate that, how loud waterfalls are and that there's not a sound setting specifically for them. But, um... That's... Fine. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna try to head back if I have enough fuel. Not dead. Uh, is there anywhere for me to go from here? I don't think so. I think I have made a mistake to leave my ship behind, but, you know, part of this game is investigation. And... Ghost radiation. I mean, I think so. It's called ghost matter, and it just... It's deadly to be around it, so I think it may be ghost radiation. <laughs> the, the radiation left behind by ghost. Oh, hey. Did the sun get redder? Also, where's the, the interloper? Ah! You see, uh, previously, you know, first time I went through the game, there is a, uh, a little section where it's gated off where you can talk to someone. You see a kid throwing a rock into it and it, like, explodes or something. And it teaches you about, uh, ghost matter. But, uh, this time, like, okay, I... I need to go explore a bit. And I haven't poked around that weird place, so why not? But yeah, it, it just... I don't know, for some reason it feels like the sun's getting redder. Because I guess when it was yellow. God, I love this feature. They can just take a picture. <laughs> Goodbye, Scout. <laughs> it's... Come back, yeah. Nah. Various attempts. This moment with the internal... Let me... I don't think I'm... Where is he? Oh. 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 Is this what I think? Is my timing right? I don't see the interloper signal anymore. But, yeah, at least it's not dangerous to look at the sun here. Now, let's see if Stonehenge does anything neat now that, uh, the sun's so bright or something. Wait, no, that's the wrong direction. Oh, wait. This... Ah, stop that. This kind of reminds me of the, the twin... Hmm. The, uh... Uh... Hmm. Yep. 
Which I think is really neat that the scout you know, can't really, you know, they took that into account. But yeah, there's a, uh, this here, the Hourglass Twins. And I'm wondering if that has something to do with the, uh, with this puzzle here. You know what? Now that we're jamming to this cool... Dude, now let's... Look at the, uh, sun. Um, I guess I could be a good, you know, not a big nerd in Mount Solaire. Ah, uh, so grossly incandescent. Like a magnificent fodder. But anyway... Let's put that away. Hello, old friend. Ah! <laughs> so, um, yeah. If this is your first time watching this game, you may be wondering, um, what? And the truthful answer is, I don't really know. Like, I know why uh, this is happening, <laughs> but yeah, I need to know how to stop that. So, ah, well, let's see here. No, I probably want my, uh, yeah, yeah. Wake up, ruined. <laughs> yep. Ah, so yeah. You know how I, I said about like the village earlier, and like, oh yeah, I, yeah well, I, I technically did go to the village earlier, but I also did not go to the village earlier. Gear options? Jetpack boost. Okay, that. Oh, that's nifty. That it gives you these here as well. And, um... Now I think I may go talk to people in the village some more, but first... Let's look at our rumor mill. Or rumor tree, I guess it's called. Called, uh. Call bring some sort of advice on the altar rock, which I think I may go investigate. Maybe try to find a way to go to the moon. <laughs> uh, there's also the dark bramble. Dark bramble. And yeah, this is, uh. Hearth, you know, Timber Hearth, the home world of the Hearthians, uh, as well as the main search, search, uh, source of explosions on the planet. And the, no, my statue in the observatory opened its eyes and looked at me. I saw strange glowing lights, and my own memories flashed before my eyes. <laughs> yeah. Uh. View entry. A strange rock shard and grove that moves when I'm not watching it. It's a signal of quantum fluctuation frequency. I found a poem written on one of the trees in one of the trees in the grove. Sure to research notes a mentioned quantum moon that no Harthian has been able to land on. Yeah. I think I may Okay, I did the kind of boring, kind of slower thing, but I think this time... <laughs> I think... You know what? Let's get this out the way. Let's... Uh, let's... I was about to say go to hell, but I mean... 
not wrong. I've never. Oh, interesting. Trees, giant steep, brittle, hollow, quantum moon. Hmm. So yeah, I've seen it, but I haven't landed on it. It's always dark. It's a quiet shade in the ancient glade. Cross mark. Hmm. It's always dark. No, give me a second to drink some water. I mean, the place on there, I wish I can view a map of Zeroji Grove, Air Cave, Dark Brown Seed, Wait. repaired another satellite. Traveler. I mean, technically we are. There's uh, the Harthians. Uh, no, I guess can't really see it right here. But, uh, return suit. Love how rugged and patched up it is, but, you know, we're little alien dudes. And, uh, well, duders that all go by uh, they, them pronouns exclusively, while an ancient race called the Nomai. You know, they actually use he and she pronouns. Let's mark on the head. Oh, that's neat. Uh, do I want to go back there? Or do I want to... You know what? You know what? Oh, technically I can go or back there. Easier now that I uh, know of it. There are a few entries. I hate them. Mmm, I hate that. But, oh yeah, there was also the, uh... You know what? I'm gonna poke the museum again real quick. Let's... Where... where are you? Ah, observatory's over there. But the cannon motivation. We... are kind of archaeologists, because we've... Our people, the Harthians, have discovered, you know, evidence of this ancient race. Um, but, you know, they're not sure of, like, their relationship to them. And... Ah, uh, out of Wild's Venture, founding members. Hornfell, Gossen, Slate, Feldspur. And the other one holding the camera. But. Yeah. Like. This. That is th the Nomai. Or the closest statue we have to their, you know. To their image. But <laughs> you wish they seen that happen. <sighs> Me too. Uh, I'm not close to understanding what's going on with the statue. Feldspar. Oh, yes, Feldspar. It was one of the uh, founding members that got lost. Oh, yeah, El Eskar. We. <laughs> Thamp. <laughs> we left Thampa on the moon. Oh yeah, you can zoom in with it. Yeah, I keep forgetting that. Um, I... Binoculars, monoculars, yeah. But, yeah. Like, we helped... Our character helped build this device to translate the... Know My Language. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction. And she says, Calbrain, the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Alterox's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm th thrilled to finally resume her search. 
but it doesn't continue from there. It's missing. This is some, um... Some of their construction work. This is one of their skeletons, which is uh, great because what you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possess antlers and quite unusually, only three eyes. The Nomai body was likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Harthians couldn't have descend descended from the Nomai. No man's ancestors. <laughs> With our, where's that the stone? Yep. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. And I think this is describing how, yeah, the Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the Little Scout now, bo now boasts a warp retrieval capacity that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Like... Oh, and this thing is a gravity crystal. So that's neat. Oh! <laughs> no, my have fur. Yes, the Normai have fur, and it's considered weir weird because. I mean, that's just weird. And also, this anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the dark bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. You. And this is where you learn about this stone. Museum shard. Whoop. Hi. 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 But yeah. It's the same shard. It just kind of... Shooting scouts in space. I mean, they probably do. I mean, they... I mean, they're very danger-prone. And not... Oh, not danger... You know, they tend to explode themselves a lot and cause fires by accident. I mean, them getting into trouble only makes... Them getting themselves into trouble constantly only makes sense. Mm. Oh, what's this? Hornfield's Observations. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in the image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I I think I need to sit down. Hmm. This is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the further away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. But if that's true, was everything closer in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? So, huh. So Hornfell was beginning to realize, like, oh, hey. Was, was there an origin? And... Um... I'm trying to think if there's anything else in here I can uh, read before uh, things go bad. I mean, I can read about the planets a bit. Okay, light. And this is talking about stars. You know, the lifespan of the star until, you know, massive enough, continue fusing carbon, heavy elements, and then supernova. Oh, wait. Oh, I did see a picture of this. Alright. Yeah, this is on... Yeah, this... Yeah. Planned flight. Oh, yeah, they do. Bit 
Big thanks to these additional founding members out of Wild Ventures, without whom we would never have gone off the ground. Oh, okay, this is... Ah, no, stop. Okay. I mean, this is cute, but I think it's here. At Wilds Ventures, Timber Hearth's first and only space program was founded to explore the far farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Hearthian to be intentionally launched into space. They completed the, uh, the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Alterok. And also the Quantum Moon, which... Yeah, that'll be fun to figure that out. Also, you may have noticed that. It, or, no, look, I never mind. It looked like. I'll say I had like uh, 0 0.8 gravity at some point. <laughs> it's. <laughs> oh. For now, yeah. But, yeah, uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, yes, uh, this is where I first found out about ghost matter. Because, uh. The kid's just throwing rocks at it. That happens. Um. Geysers, which would lead me into the uh, geysers, <laughs> the center of the uh, planet, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Not what I want right now. Thanks to you, spacesuit. Um. Hmm. Okay. I think... Would anyone know more about each Named Ruby? Oh yes, I thought, like, now it, if... You know, our character isn't really named in this game, so I'm like, no, I'll just go with the name Ruby, since it's my birthstone. Yeah. Um, cute water wheel. This cute stuff. Uh. Oh yeah, you know that bit with the the uh, the statues, like oh, it's it's eyes. You know, I didn't see it open. Well. Um. Ah, thank you. The first time you go to the museum. You know, get the the launch codes from Hornfell, or like from the uh, the top of the observatory, and come back out. It 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 opens its eyes, and weird stuff happens. Good weird stuff, I mean, but still weird. Uh, hello, Pritter. Uh, Quantum Moon. Okay, I think. Brittle, okay, Brittle Hollow. Is it Brittle Hollow's moon? Okay. What's here? Okay, that's about the groove. Uh, now I might as well show this. Because I feel like even if I don't have enough time, this go. I'm... <laughs> I 
I should really use this more often. Is this the uh, crater? Yeah, that's yeah, that's it. That's you hate to see it, folks. You hate to see it. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is the uh, Dark Bramble Seed. Talk to our friend here. He uh, tells us uh, that this crashes into the planet. And I, um, I've been through this before, but... Right? You see, it says error. Duplicate. Right? Because, like, the scout... It's technically, you know, the signal's coming both from there. Uh, I hate that. Hmm. Did you find out the to their leg? I did not find out what happened to their leg. Uh, I think. Oh yeah, you mentioned um like creator needs some for you. I You did, did you? And you tell me it's bigger on the inside than on the outside? <laughs> this is gonna be a chore to chop up and no and <laughs> no mistake. Can we even remove a seal that doesn't have the decency to say th stay the same size all the way through? Maybe I'd better grab an extra axe or something. I for fault the twin. I am anyway. Can I jump in there? I kinda wanna jump in there. No, that'd be dumb. I mean it's 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 bad the whole way around. There's but uh let's view a map. Dark Bramble. It's always... Yep. I don't know if I actually escaped the velocity, because I don't have a feel for this game yet of, uh... God... Mmm... Velocity locked with it. It's in the shade. I hate everything. I thought I was locked. You're good. Anyway, let me... Okay, I can't log on to it from here. Had to be... Alright. I should probably also poke at that at some point. That's cool. Nope. Wait. Is that what I think it is? Come on. 
autopilot. That has to be what I think it is. The I don't think I can get to. Engage autopilot. I don't think this is gonna work because if I'm if that's what I think it is, I think that's a quantum moon. Let's go. Son of a bitch. That's why I couldn't land on it. Ah. Oh no, it's there. Get. Um. Mmm. <laughs> Is it. Let's have some faith. I don't die. Where am I? 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 Okay. Not dead. But I couldn't land on it. Damn. Dark Bramble. <sighs> no, Dark Bramble Seed. Where's the Dark Bramble? Not dead. Yeah, was I able to get onto the moon? Actually, no one. Okay, I am... Aha! There you are. Let me match velocity with it. <sighs> that music. Alright. So, where... This way. Are you the quantum moon? Are you the quantum moon? <laughs> oh, I fucked up. No! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! My poor ship. I have, I have failed you. So terribly. Well, that's... Yeah, okay. Uh, next time, use autopilot. Oh. Well then, hit <laughs> yeah. Match velocity with the supernova. Yeah, I know. I know it's just the cockpit. I, I am very aware of this. That I've lost the entire ship but the cockpit. Hmm. Huh? That was messy. Yeah.
whatever that is blasts off this way now. It blasted to the right a few times. Do I... I don't have my map. Hmm. I have someone with their uh, oboe. Oh, that was... I think that's uh, a Nomai vessel or something that got exploded. Yeah, that is why seatbelts are important. Um, I think... What on earth? I know I think first I want to get a bit of water. And, uh... You know what? I'm going to enable that. Excuse me. Yeah, I, I did spin off just like a Darth Raider. But, um... Hmm. Well, that was the worst run to Dark Bramble I've ever, I've ever done. <laughs> um, gotta use the autopilot. It's important. Health of Yule. Gravity Rock. <sighs> you know what? You know what? Actually... Let's check the ship log. Rumors. No hard things were enabled. Wait. I think I know... I think I have an idea. But I'm not watching. Shoot. Quantum moon. Uh. You know what? Let's. I, I also hate the dark ramp. Let's go to the moon. Let's do something simple like going to the moon. Yeah, I I adore just this how homey everything feels. And Oh no, that's okay, that's the land. That's the sun. I mean, no, no. I still don't know. Across in the ancient glade, it's always across old park, quiet shade. Ancient glade, it's always dark. Autopilot. I think I have an idea about that because across Old Park, the quiet, the quiet shade in the Ancient Glade is always dark. I think either it may be something about. Let's see here. Can I land next to Thampa? Oh wait, am I? Okay, sorry, Thampa. I found I found the ruins. Son of a. I kind of want to talk to Thampa though. Um. Uh, the game is frozen, crashed, something. As I was about to land. It's a poem. It is a poem, but... Um, can you still hear me, or did the game just... Did everything just go to shit? 
Ähm Okay, you can still hear me. Alright then, I'm going to restart the expo and the game and all that, so uh, the stream's going to be down for a bit, but hopefully it'll be back up soon. It because, yeah, no.